Hello everyone, I am Phantom Haxer, and welcome to the fourth episode of Roblox How To. In this episode, I will be going over the output tab in detail and explain what it does and how you can use it to debug your Roblox game. This video will require some basic knowledge about Roblox Studio. If this is your first time opening Roblox Studio, I have left a link to my studio introduction video in the video cards and in the description. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe as it lets me teach scripting on Roblox to more people. Before I begin, here are the timestamps for today's video. And without further ado, let's get into today's video. What is the Output tab? The Output tab is a powerful debugging window that displays errors from running scripts, messages from Roblox game code, and user-defined messages and errors. To view the Output tab, click on the View tab in the tab list and click Output. The Output tab has two different variants at the time of making this video. There's the Default Output tab and the Expressive Output tab, which is in beta. Personally, I use the Expressive Output tab as it has more features and looks nicer. It's not always possible to write bug-free code. In cases such as those, errors may be shown in the output window. Errors can be caused from anything as small as typing a single letter incorrectly, so it's always useful to keep check through the output window. There are many different types of errors, but most of them can be fixed just by reading the error message. Debugging code is a must for any developer who wants their game to succeed. Games with bugs tend to get less players and break through updates. Debugging code in basic terms means to remove bugs from your code. The debugging library in Roblox can help you do this. The most useful function from the debugging library is the debug.traceback function. It returns a traceback of the current function as a string. Debug.traceback basically answers the question, how did my code get here? and can be used through warn and print. The reason why you should use this over the error function is because debug.traceback through warn and print does not stop script execution, but error does. Meaning, if you use error, any code after that error will not run and the script will break. I will show you a basic script with an error inside of it. See if you can find and fix the error within 10 seconds. If you can't, don't worry, as I will go over the error after the countdown. Let's begin. Here is the script. If you caught the error, good job. The error is the part.name. The A in name is not supposed to be capitalized. Here is another example. This one is a little harder. If you watched my properties video, you would instantly know what is wrong with this. The material property can only be assigned to values that exist in the material enum. So the correct code here would be part.material equals enum.material.brick. Now that you know how to use the output tab and how to read and fix errors, I will give you a basic challenge. In the description, you will find a link to a paste bin with some buggy code examples. Try to understand the bugs in the code and see what you can do to fix them. I have also left a link in the description to the Roblox developer wiki in case you get lost and need help. Thank you for watching the fourth episode of Roblox How To. I am Phantom Haxer and I will see you in the next episode. Have a great rest of the day.